With regard to healing, though, for a moment, I'd just like to talk about healing. What's actually happening with a lot of healing is that when we're healing, so let's say I'm the, the, the healer on earth, I have a spirit with me. All healing occurs through a spirit, by the way, unless you connect directly to God and then it's through the divine love connection. Now, obviously, that is not going to work purely until you're at one with God. Until that point, you will be assisted by spirits. Now, the spirits who want to heal the material body are going to be spirits who are not on the divine path. And the spirits who want to heal the spirit body are going to be spirits who are not on the divine path. Because what does a spirit on the divine path want to do? He wants to heal the soul. Now, that spirit on the divine path is very happy to heal the material body and heal the spirit body as long as the soul condition is being addressed. But if the person, the person being healed, refuses to address the soul condition, the ethical question I have to ask myself as the healer is, do I want to be involved in healing this person? The reason why I need to ask that question is because if I am trying to heal a person who doesn't want to address their soul condition, straight away I'm in disharmony with divine love, so I'm now only harmonious with natural love. Secondly, a spirit who's going to heal the person will be a natural love spirit. Thirdly, I'm going to heal their spirit body or their material body. Their soul is not going to be healed. And what's going to be recreated? The same illness, most probably. So in fact, it's not a very wise use of my own time. However, if I'm charging money for it, I might be tempted. <coughs> Can you see how money mixed into the deal causes some conflict inside of us.